Hello, this is Reza from Radicad, and in this video, I'm going to talk about uh, a potential mistaken use of variables in DAX. When you use variables in DAX, you have to be cautious where you use it. I'll show you a um, scenario that it caused a problem, and I'll show you how to fix it. Let's see. Uh, variables in DAX are good for making your code more readable because you don't repli uh, repeat part of your code and expression in DAX and also make the performance of that better if you are reusing a part of expression instead of re-evaluating or recalculating it again and again you can just use the uh, variables. Uh, let's say I have an expression like this so this expression is calculating the same uh, period last year of the sales amount. Uh, I have uh, written a blog post about how to calculate it. If you are interested, have a look at the link down in the description below. Uh, so it is saying that calculate some of the sales amount for the same period last year uh, based on the date field. And it is working uh, and I can see the result of this year. Now, you might want to use a variable for the sum of sales amount. Uh, so here is another example of that expression, but in this one I have used a variable and this variable is called uh, underscore sales. This is equal to sum of the sales amount. So that expression part is now a variable. And in the return section, we have the same calculate expression, but I'm using that variable as a result here which um, looks like it should be returning exactly the same thing, but in fact it doesn't. When I show the result of the variable uh, of the measure here, you can see that these two are different. This is the correct one, this is the incorrect one. The incorrect one, as you can see, is not really showing sales same period last year. It is showing the same sales of that month. So it is sales of that month itself. It's like a current sales. Uh, current month or this month sales versus this one uh, is the sales last uh, same period last year now let let's look at the expression one more time to see why it is like that the variable definition wherever you define the variable the result of that uh, the the expression of that variable will be evaluated within the filter context of that area so here you see there is no filter we are just saying sum of the sales amount. And sum of the sales amount, this is running under the context of uh, this visual, which is one record per month. So this would be sum of the sales amount for each month. And then, so after calculating sum of the sales amount for the month, saving the result, because that's how variables works, it stores the result and then reuse it. Then it reuse it and say, okay, this is my filter, but then use this result. But this result is now stored, pre-stored and just used here, right? Which is not correct. Uh, now for a simple expression like this, you don't go and use a variable. You just use it without variable like what you have seen uh, before. But because I'm just showing you how the variables works and I want to show you how you can fix it in case you have scenario like that, uh, let's look at this expression. So this expression is uh, the same expression, calculating sales for the same period last year period. But if you look at here, the variable definition is now moved inside the calculate expression. Previously, it was outside of the calculate expression. When it was outside of the calculate expression, this filter was not applying on that variable definition. Now, this filter also applied on the variable definition. So it is saying that calculate this, but within this context, within the context of whatever date we are, same period last year of that, right? So this would return correct result if I add it here. In the visual, you see that this is returning the correct result because the variable is used in the right context. Now, again, as I mentioned, you don't usually go and use a variable for a simple expression like this. So I have a little bit different expression, an expression which is a little more, uh, let's say, complex, not complex, longer expression, let's say. So here I have a different expression 
it's still same period last year result, but our expression is much longer. Uh, it is saying that if sales amount plus tax amount is greater than unit price plus freight, then sales amount plus tax amount, otherwise unit price plus freight, right? So it's a long expression. It's if this, then that, right? Uh, and there are a lot of uh, expressions that are repeated here, right? I can define a variable here. And if we define that variable outside of this scope, that means that this variable, um, so here is an example of defining variable outside of the scope. You see all of the variable definition, uh, one variable for sales, another for tax, one for sales plus tax, one for unit price, freight, uh, Rate plus unit price, and then I use the result of that within here, right? Because the variable is calculated outside of the filter that I uh, I want to apply, this is returning incorrect result. And if I define the variable inside the calculate expression, you see this now is inside the calculate expression. This would work because the filter applied in this expression, in this calculate expression, will be affecting the calculation of the variable. Uh, and here is the result of that. You can see that the one that is the original without variable, this is with the variable used correctly when it was defined inside the scope of calculate. And this is outside of calculate when it is used incorrectly. Um, you might say that, that there are uh, other ways of writing this. We don't really need variables. We can use other measures. We can use something else. It's definitely possible. But what I'm trying to show you in this example is an example usage of a variable that might not go exactly as you want and how you can solve it. This would definitely happen in real world scenarios and you just need to uh, make sure that you run your variables or define your variables in the context in which you want the filter to be applied. If you like this video, go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, we have weekly videos of Power BI and AI.